I'm doing a really exciting video. I'm doing a review of the new Saint Tropez Gradual In Shower Self Tanner. And I know when I heard about this, I was really intrigued because I've never used a product like this. I think it's a first of its kind on the market. It is UK patent pending, as it says up here. And it's a three minute in shower self tanner. I've been using this for about four or five days now, so I feel like I really have a good opinion. I did take some before and after photos that I'm going to share with you in this video. So if you want to see if this product is worth it for you, then just stay tuned. I'm going to start right off and say there are a lot of pros and cons to this product and it's not going to work for everyone. It says on the website that is good for all skin tones and types and I'm going to have to disagree with that right away just because I find if you are a medium skin or deeper, I don't think this is really going to be your best friend. I don't think it's going to work that well for you. So if you do have a medium to dark skin tone, I would totally skip on this product right now. <laughs> Before you even dive into this video, I would just skip on this product because I don't think it's going to do enough for you to be worth the money in my opinion. Because I have, I would say, a light to medium skin tone naturally and I find this barely, barely worked for me. If you are fair, I would say this would work better for you. I know there's products on the market that are lotions that are geared towards different tones of skin like fair, light, medium, and dark. So you can always pick up a lotion depending on your skin type, but this is geared towards all, which I think is its downside in and of itself because I do think it's marketed towards a more fair skinned individual. I think they would have more benefits with this and they would like this product a lot more. There's also a learning curve to this product. You're supposed to apply it in the shower and wait three minutes. You turn the shower off, apply it to your skin, wait three minutes, which I get bored in the shower. There's only so much organizing my shower I can do. They recommend doing like a hair mask or something like that. Uh, I did that one day, but I'm not gonna use a hair mask every single day. So that's kind of the inconvenience of it is waiting three minutes. You can do whatever you want in those three minutes, but the shower being off is just an inconvenience to me. So you let it develop. The learning curve I'm going to talk about is how you apply it. So initially I applied it just regular how I would apply a lotion to my skin in the shower. It didn't take long at all, 30 seconds to a minute I'd say to apply to my whole body. I found my skinnier areas like my arms got a little bit more dark and my bigger areas like I tried applying it to my belly uh, and I'm 32 weeks pregnant and basically have no color on it <laughs> because I'm so big there. I did find it showed up on my legs a bit more, but as I said, my belly area didn't really show up on. My arms, it showed up pretty good, but only after I figured out how to best apply this for me. So I wasn't applying too much pressure to the product on my skin. So the first few days, I didn't really see too much of a difference. I did see a difference after day one. I had a little gradual, noticeable glow to my skin. Day two and three, I really didn't see a difference between those. Day four is when I noticed the difference because the night that I applied the tanner was when I really rubbed it into my body. So I applied more pressure to the product and then I found I got a deeper tan that way. This is my skin after four or five days. You can tell I don't have any crazy self-tanner marks. I tried to wash off all my previous self tanner so I had clean skin. But this is the tan I got. I'm wearing a W3 in L'Oreal True Match Lumi right now if you want to know my coloring. So that's kind of the depth of my skin that I got uh, within the four days that I've used this. And I'm going to say I do have some color. But the kind of color I wanted would take at least four days if not six of applying it regularly. It is very gradual. That's why I think I would recommend it more for fair skin because I think they would really like it in that sense because you can really play up how deep you want this tan to be and it's not going to go overly deep if you know what I mean. And that's also a reason why I would say for medium to dark skin girls that I would totally skip this altogether. You might be able to say that it would give you some kind of glow or something like that to your skin. I just don't think it's worth the $30 price tag. For those who have medium to dark skin. The product has zero self tanner smell to it which I can appreciate. It just smells like a clean scent and the product is a creamy color. After four in shower uses I pretty much down to here I'd say so I have this much left in the bottle. So this isn't gonna last you too long if you use this as an everyday kind of thing like the website suggests. Do I find it to be very moisturizing. I don't think it's overly moisturizing. It's definitely not drying, but I don't think I would replace this with 
a moisturizer after. I really like to moisturize my skin, so definitely not as moisturizing as I would personally like. So it's really quick to use. The only inconvenience is waiting that three minutes, which, as I said, there's only so much you can do with three minutes. And you're not going to be able to apply this to your back very well unless you shower with someone. <laughs> So you can always have someone hop in the shower with you, I guess, and uh, apply this to your back. So that's another downside of this. Other self-tanners, when I'm out of the shower, I get my husband to help me or I have a back uh, applicator that I use. This, I can't really reach those areas, so I just didn't bother. But I didn't get such a deep tan using this that you could really tell a difference. So that being said, would I buy this again? I probably wouldn't. Do I totally dislike this product? Absolutely not. I do think a lot of people are going to enjoy this. Personally, for me, I'd rather spend that $30 on an actual self-tanner and just use my regular moisturizer or a gradual tanning moisturizer after I'm out of the shower. There's a ton of raves I'm reading on the Sephora website. It's currently out of stock right now. I don't agree with a lot of the raves about this product. I don't think it's like the best thing ever. As I said, I would just use that money towards an actual self-tanning product. But if you're an avid self-tanner like I am, you might enjoy this for in-between self-tan applications just to even out your skin, even out your tan, and just maybe get a day or two more out of your tan to make it look a little bit less patchy if you have problems with patchiness. Also for those people who are fair, I think would like this. Anyone else, I would definitely recommend getting a sample first before you dive right into this product because I don't want you wasting your money. And I feel as though a lot of people aren't going to like this product just because of that. And the key word of this product is gradual. You're not going to see a great tan after a day, maybe just a little bit of a glow if you're like my complexion. And it's going to take you at least four days to see any kind of tan in my opinion. I'm just going to bring up the Sephora website right now just to see if I forgot to mention anything. It is very natural looking, it gives a bronze glow. I wouldn't say extreme moisture. It doesn't streak, doesn't transfer onto clothing. It also says use daily to gradually build an intense tan, which I would just say buy an actual self tanner, get your intense tan once <laughs> and not bother doing it every single day to get a intense tan because the intense tan they're talking about is maybe a shade darker than what I have right now. And I wouldn't say that's intense. I'd say this is a very natural looking tanning product that I feel like fair skin individuals would really like because if they've had issues with other self tanners in the past, they might really enjoy this one because they can really gradually build up the tan and it's gonna look natural even if you have fair skin. With that being said, I hope this video helped you out in case you were wondering about this tanning product. If you are interested, I'd still pick up a sample. I personally, as I said, probably won't be buying this again only because I'd rather spend that money on an actual self tanner that really develops. I love being dark and I would rather just use a gradual tan lotion instead of an in shower gradual tan product. So this product is a hit or miss. I can see why people may like it, but I can also see why some people aren't going to like it. That's why I truly recommend getting a sample of this product before you buy it. I know it's probably going to be really hyped up because it is a new product. It's something that I haven't seen before in a self tanning product, so it's very new to the market. If you have any more questions about this product, just leave it in the comment section below. I'm sure I probably missed something that someone wants to know about this product. Uh, so just leave it in the comment section below and I will get back to you and answer your question. And I'll see you guys in my next one.